Hello, a very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue, and we're going live, of course, on Facebook Live this Sunday night. Sunday, the 13th of November 2016, Remembrance Sunday evening. Welcome, 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 I say to Facebook Live. It's lovely to have you with me, and we'll be here for about an hour. Now, we're going to do lots of interesting things tonight. We have a lot to discuss. We're going to discuss Remembrance and Remembrance Sunday, and how long do we continue to have Remembrance Sunday for? Now, I don't know if you know that this morning when I was doing the promo for the program tonight, the short promotional video um, I did a few minutes on remembrance so you will see that on Facebook live can I ask you to share and share and share and share I'll explain all this to you as the evening goes on because a lot of you will want shout outs and I know a lot of you say oh too many shout outs but no it's a shout out program it's shout out Sunday of course with me David Hemsley's watching. Jim McIntyre says, Hello, Scotty. I let a lot of you know on Facebook that we are live at 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday evening. So make this a regular date. Look out for Scotty McClue. Denise Carroll says, Hello. George Mullen says, Took your time. No, George, I didn't take my time. I was here at 10 o'clock sharp, so don't be silly. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening to you, says everybody. Paul from Lytham St. Anne's. Good to see you, Scotty. Good to hear from you, Paul. Excellent stuff. And come the day, I think we'll all be able to see each other. We'll get that sorted out as well. So there we are, and um, you look fabulous. You looked fabulous in all your finery. That must have been this morning, says James Grant. Thank you for that, James. I hope everybody enjoys that video and finds it informative. Those who couldn't join us live, I also did, I did that at 10 o'clock this morning, and then at 11 o'clock I joined all of you on Facebook Live for the silence. So hopefully you were there for that as well. Uh, we've got Skype with us tonight. Evening from Tommy O'Pre, says Jim McIntyre. Thank you, Jim. Scotty, uh, your company, our company's getting too big for their boots. They don't reply to emails or bad call center operatives when you phone in. Roy, this is a very, very good subject for discussion, actually, because one of the reasons I like to do live broadcasting is because there's too much of the human element removed nowadays. And I would like this phone in to become a massive, massive, massive global entity live on Facebook Live where we talk, the people talk. So there we are, Inky Pinky Parvelos, Dinky Doo, Scotty McClure, says Jidar. James Grant says, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Always tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure, live on Facebook Live, just for you on a Sunday night, Dinky Doo. Mary Ballantyne's watching. Hello, Mary. Lovely to hear from you. Uh, Luke Jones and two others have just shared the video. Let them know you appreciate it. Yes. Now, a word about that, folks. Can we have a general sharing all the time? So share, 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 share all the time. Lots to do tonight. And uh, I might have one or two little treats for you as the evening goes on. John Halliday is watching. Lovely to know that, John. Gary Crossan's watching. A fine fellow is Gary. And I can see you all coming up here live on Facebook Live as well. That is marvellous. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Let everyone know that the show is on. Let everyone know that we are live. We're only a few weeks old. Already we're looking at 50,000 people have joined us. Now that's good stuff. That means that we're players. That means that you and I are in business big time. Now, uh, talking of which, um, if you're feeling flush and you want to drop me a fiver, lots and lots of you have. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Get on to www.scotty-mcclue.com. There you will see the PayPal. Click it, send us a fiver. And if it's no skin off your nose, thank you, thank you, thank you. But don't unless you're feeling flush. What I do with that, that goes to get little bits for the show. It all helps. So whether it's dollars or yen or um, Great British Pounds, as we do now, GBP, um, then feel free to get to www.scotty-mcclue.com and drop us a pound or two. Very much appreciated. Some of you have been incredibly generous. Scotty, we care. Can we get a badge that you're wearing, says Jarvis Butler. Ah, yes, the Scotty McClure. You will see it in reverse. 
reverse because the camera's upside down. But uh, not to worry about that. We'll get all that sorted. Evening, Scotty, says Angie Thompson. Uh, question, sir, do you think national service should be brought back for the lazy wee people who leave school and sit and play game stations all day? Well, it wouldn't do any harm. The only thing is, as I said this morning, we would like to avoid war in the future. You'll see all this. I won't repeat myself, but you'll see it all on this morning's video. So try and have a look at that and share it, folks. Very, very important to share everything. Scotty, a big shout out. Could you share your thoughts on Donald Trump being elected president? Yes, I can. Because many people felt that Hillary was the alternative, so they didn't really have anywhere to go. So they voted for Donald Trump. And also, I think it's a backlash against a largely uh, dishonest and biased media who were pushing Hillary all the time. And the people said, enough is enough. We had this during the uh, Scottish um, referendum. And the media was saying, oh, better together, better together, better together, better together. And of course, there's not one shred of evidence, there's not one jot or scintilla of truth in that Scotland is better together with England, or ever actually has been better together with England. So there you are. Now, that's not a political point, that's an economic point. I am not a political animal, as you all well know. But of course, Scotland could stand on its own. Good evening, Scotty. You would sort out Donald Trump. Well, I might say to him, I will come across the pond and sort out your media for you, Donald. That's what I might look at doing. I had a white poppy for peace, says Gary Stevenson. Good for you, Gary. I know many, many people with the white poppies. Very important. And uh, who else have we got here? Scotty, I think those people who don't observe the two-minute silence should have their benefits docked. Well, I think the two-minute silence, it's not absolutely compulsory. You won't be flung in jail for not observing the two-minute silence. But I think it's quite important. That's why I joined the nation, joined the world live today, just to say thank you to the people who made that ultimate sacrifice, who gave up their lives so that we might have freedom. When you go home, tell them of us and say that for you tomorrow we gave our today. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. But at the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. And I think it's important just to share these moments. Plus, I have a beautiful poppy I have to show you that a Russian lady made for me. And I think that's rather gorgeous. Can you all see that there? She's knitted it. You know, it goes with myself. Scotty McClure was knitted. That's how nobody knows what age I am. And there's my puppy. And I think that is rather beautiful. Do you think there'll be a second referendum on Scottish independence? I would think there has to be, Mark. But this time, I think a lot of the politicians should butt out. And I also think that a lot of the media should butt out. Excuse me a second. Oh, oh the heat in the studio. The heat with the lamps. You know what I mean? I'm sure I'm growing with them. So there we are. Um, Liz Barnes and 12 others have shared the video. Thank you. Let you know that I appreciate it very, very, very much indeed. It is tremendous. And thank you for that. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, I've just shown you uh, a hand there. I've shown my hand. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on the Hummel Dodies for you. There you are, because I think that's quite important. So because I know you like the Hummel Dodies, and I can I can dab for you with the Hummel Dodies on. Uh, that's a nice knitted poppy, says James. Thanks, James. Ashley says, the weather down here is rubbish. It's tainting again. I think she probably means it's raining again. Um, evening, Scotty, says Jen Perret. Evening, Jen. Um, everyone should acknowledge the two-minute silence says Steve Burrows. Well, guys, I've got all that for you. If you want to discuss anything tonight, please feel free to Skype. We're also looking at Messenger and all that sort of thing. But Skype is set up tonight. Dab, dab, says James. Yes, very much. Give us a dab, says Ross. Right, Ross, I'm just putting on the other glove, the other Hummel Doody, the other Scotty McClue mitten. There we are. Uh, 
Right, there's a dab for you all. And um, also, hello from Iskill Bride, says James Bauer. Hello, James. Lovely to hear from you. I mean, it's tainting, says Ashley. What's tainting, Ashley? Christopher says, dab. We've just dabbed. Raining, says Ashley. Yes, she has sorted it. Thank you for getting back to me on Michelle Obama, says Malcolm. So there we are. A great pleasure, Malcolm. And Kamara Ha'u Hachemachi. Lovely to hear from you. Uh, Koshin. Uh, can I wish my friend Luke Jones a happy birthday for tomorrow? Love from Liz. P.S. Love your show more. Dinky doo, Scotty, says Liz. Jenny says, it's so cold here. Well, where are you, Jenny? We don't actually know where you are. And uh, taint, lol, says James Grant. Taint, very Yorkshire. Ah, Yorkshire like. Like, uh, a bit like uh, Zach Dingle speaks, you know, like Lisa. Ah, that sort of stuff. I did, uh, I did once call in to the show to see if they were looking for anybody and they said, can you lose your Scottish accent? I said, I can that last if I had to. Uh, will you play your wee box for us one week, Mr. McClure? Get me out of here, Scotty, says George. <laughs> Get me out of here for Scotty. Oh, yes. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. So there we are. And a shout out, please, to Chris Smith. Absolutely, Chris. You're really, really helpful. I love watching your live videos. Keep up with the amazing videos, says Ashley. Uh, Catherine uh, is watching. Uh, yes, come on. Oh, Catherine. Ha, him, ah. And uh, Jenny Wiley says she's in Edinburgh. Ah, I remember Edinburgh. I, I loved my time in Edinburgh. I had great fun. And uh, was in a grumpy mood, but you've cheered me up, Scotty. I'm a long-time listener. I'm a big fan of yours, says Stevie McKenzie. Give us a shout-out. The Tash from Govan. Ah, Govan, a wonderful place. A sunny place, Govan. Sunny Govan we talk about. Marvellous. Where were you born, bred and raised, says Tommy? I was knitted, Tommy, so therefore. Apparently I was ten pounds when I was born, but even now at today's rates, that sounds to me quite dear for a child. Remember the nation have to tell ten to tell ten. Say hello to some old pupils sitting playing a game of Dungeons and Dragons, says Lisa Clark. Yes, Lisa, dinky-doo to my pupils from the days when I was teaching you. My pal Luke Jones is mad and loves your show, says Liz. In the go. Oh, fantastic. The go. That's tremendous. Out Les Mahigo in Les Mahigi. Les Mahigi in Lennox here, the go. A uh, dinky do from Mark Horsham, uh, to Mark Horsham, says Luke. Julianne says, send me down a bridey, Scotty. Ah, uh, a four for bridey. I enjoy the four for bridey. Now, time for a, a touch of water, if you don't mind. Mm. I must tell you a funny story about water at some point. But an important interview I had, and I thought I was going to be late, so I ran. I ran and ran, and it was this time of year. And uh, then I got into the headquarters, and of course they had uh, they were roasting hot, and I just uh, turned into a grease spot. I'm from Blantyre, born and bred, says Liz. Ah, the Blanter. That's excellent. I'm from Kennewy in Fife. Have you been here? Of course, James. I know Fife very, very well indeed. When you're supping with Fifers, you have to use a lang spoon. Christopher says, the stream's not working. Well, it's working fine here, Chris. So, uh, you know, if uh, you've not got it, um, bet it's not water, says Jenny. Oh, oh it's awful good water, this. Mm. Mm. Lovely, lovely. And in fact, I think we've actually got a cup of tea somewhere as well. Uh, Giuseppe Bacchetti and 17 others have just shared the video. Let them know that you appreciate it. Boy, oh boy, do I appreciate it. Now, guys, I've made a video about what can Scotty McClue do for you because I'm quite keen to do something interesting. Uh, so there you are. So if you're wanting recordings, uh, if you're wanting voiceovers, if you're wanting your business properly advertised, let us know. I've had a lot of people inquiring, can they advertise on this program? What I was thinking would be quite good. I could do a talk up for you, which might be quite funny. So we'll look at that. Did you watch Still Game on Friday night? I was working on Friday night, Liz. I missed it. Where's the lovable lassie, says James Grant. Over the years, I've had many, many fine lovable lassies of the big switchboard. They were the people that put your calls through to Scotty McClue. 
George says, the best thing about Edinburgh is the train out of it. Oh, very good. Where would we be without humour, Georgie? Edinburgh. Oops, need something stronger there, Scotty. Um, I'm in wishy now. I live in Motherwell. Oh, awful good water that was, the Reverend I am Jolly. He ended up drunk, Marvellous. Yes, love your show, says Liz. A great pleasure, Liz. Lovely to do the show for you. A bit of Welsh there, Boyle, says Julianne Scott. Ah, yes, yes, indeed. Yucky da, I say to you. And, uh, or should I say, um, uh, what, should, what should I say for good evening? So there you are, a bit of Welsh. I say yucky da and nosta. Uh, what would you think? What do you think of Trumpins winning? Well, Trump, quite interesting. Big story there. But as I say, I think the media, the people have said, you don't fool us. That's what I think. How often are you on, Scotty, says Tony Hardy. I do a promotion on Sunday mornings for the show tonight. And I'm on for one hour a week. Uh, but we've been talking about that. No star, says Julian. Yes, no star. I say, Clan Fire, um, I love the show. Can you give me a shout out? She's Sean O'Brien. Sean, consider it done. You are indeed shouted out. It was funny last week because a big pal of mine said, You seem to be reading stuff out. And. Huh. Another mop down, take the shine off the face. I'm missing my old makeup man. He was tremendous. The late Bill Carson. I don't know if anybody uh, of you remember Bill Carson at Scottish Television and ITV. Tremendous man. And Bill could make you uh, up so that your, your own mother wouldn't actually recognise you. Uh, Scotty, you should be on on a Wednesday, says George. What's important about that? Give a shout out to Lisa who works at Unconcept Hairdressing in Battlefield. Thank you very much. Hello, Unconcept Hairdressing in Battlefield. Julianne, we should give Scotty the clan fire PG challenge. A silly oh, go, go, go. Uh, Scotty, hit up some funny jokes. I don't know any funny jokes. Although I did actually um, have a laugh the other night. I stopped a big yellow lorry. Late at night I was walking the dog and I stopped a big yellow lorry. And I said, I'm sorry to bother you. I said, but I thought you'd like to know that you're losing your load out of the back. Because there was a lot of sand coming out of the back, you know. And he said, I'm actually gritting. Oh, Scotty. Um, can you do any celeb impressions, Scotty? Oh, no, no. I mean, I, 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 I don't do celeb impressions, as you well know. Um, no, I don't do any of that stuff, lovey. Uh, yes, Luke, says Julianne Scott. Loved your memory post earlier, lest we forget, says Dave Harley. Thank you very much, Dave. If I could ask everybody to find that, you'll see me. I'm wearing my Glen Gary. So you'll see the Glen Gary, and if you can share and share and share, because that message has to get round the world, and there's no better way to get it round the world than here on Scotty McClure's show on Facebook Live. Ha 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 ha! I love Kirsten, says Michael. <laughs> you do a shout out to Maggie from Basford. Of course I can. Ah ha ha ha! Classic, says Lewis Marchand. Did you like that, Lewis? A wee joke for you. I've been getting very emotional recently. I just went down to the garage last night and I started filling up. Uh, you've got gorgeous eyes, says James. Oh, thank you, James. Very kind of you. Uh, Gary Crossan and 19 others have just shared the video. Let you know you appreciate it. Yes, what's the time? It's about 18 minutes past 10. Can we have a massive share at 20 past 10? Everybody start sharing everything. Scotty McClure-ish. We'll have a wee break. Um, Scotty does a great impression of that great celebrity, Scotty McClure. I do, Stevie. I do a very good Scotty McClure. And there's a gentleman over in America who does a better Scotty McClure than me. And he came on the wireless one night and he out Scotty McClure, Scotty McClure. He was just, oh, yes, Scotty. Scotty, could you say a big hello to my niece, Danielle Farrer, who's sitting listening with me? Dinky doo, says David. Scotty, you're hilarious. Says Christopher Smith, I don't set out to be hilarious. People used to phone and say, you're not even funny. I'll say, I never said I was funny. So there you are. Uh, don't put me under the same brush, says Adam Osterbrick. I don't know what he means by that. I've seen it. I've shared it. Uh, kids now don't know what Poppy Day is all about. 
says Angie Thompson. Have a look, Angie, at the video I've done, and that will tell you. Would you like to hear that, says Stevie McKenzie? Uh, have you got that, Stevie? Yes, if you've got it. You're a big bag of wind, says Adam Mosterberg. Of course I am. Scotty, is the white poppy political correctness gone mad? No, the white poppy is actually very, very advanced thinking. It's nothing to do with political correctness. That's the mistake people make. See, the problem is, drink of water. In fact, I'll tell you what, sip of tea even better. Mmm. <coughs> Argyle pottery, Dunoon pottery. Beautiful stuff. Sorry for spraying that. Right. I keep getting told I've got beautiful brown eyes. Can you sing the song? Uh, oh, wonderful. So there we go. Um, now then, uh, I've got an echo, says Jada. Well, congratulations, Jada. Don't tell everybody. Or they'll all want one. That's what I say. Uh, Show us your barnet. <laughs> Quite a barnet. Uh, some same mug as last week. Can I buy it? Says James. <laughs> oh, James, I have to tell you, these wee badges, which I probably will get some made up and uh, you know, sell them for a pound or two, but they went to a charity auction for £600 each. What about that? There you are. That shows Scotty McClue. This silly woman said, Just be careful, you don't make a fool of yourself, you might get nothing for them. £600 each. Lol, says Stevie. Nathan Livingston, ha ha ha, says Jamie Curran. Uh, Ross Cullen, ha 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 ha. So there you are. You have drank water and wine. Do a miracle now. I might actually do you a miracle because I'll tell you what I've got. I've got the pipe organ with me tonight. So I've, I can wheel that in. Lol, says Jenny Wiley. Scotty, are you taking Skype calls, says Adam? Yes, I am, Adam. I have Skype right in front of me here. And uh, if you wanted to Skype me, then I'm sure we can actually do that. Sorry, you all disappeared there. I'd moved you just to check out how things were on Skype. Scotty.McClue is my Skype logo. If I sit back, am I brighter? Is the lighting better? Interesting. My friend said to me, he said, just make sure the lights are half decent. So there's nothing worse than a, a dark video. So there we are. Uh, a fine scotch in that cat, Scotty. Ching Chang. So there you are. Jimmy Gowan's heading for a ban. We'll just ban him. So there we go. Yep. He's heading to be banned. And uh, there we are. Okay. Bye, Jimmy. Marvellous stuff. Right. Uh, Scotty, can you turn water into wine? Uh, I'm back. I've been promoting the show, says James Barrow. Fantastic stuff. And uh, let's just get rid of Jamie altogether. Excuse me. This is uh, somebody who's chicking up. And we'll just have to sort him out. So there we are. I do that. Mm. And that. And there we are. Right, play as a tune, Scotty, says James. You're very opinionated. So there you are, says Lyle. Of course, I'm opinionated. Well... Not really, just common sense. I tend to talk common sense. I don't think there's anything too opinionated about talking common sense. So there we go. And uh, play as a tune, Scotty. Uh, oh, well, I might do that. It's wonderful. Right. Um, 23 minutes. At 25 minutes past, folks, can we have a massive, massive sharing of everything? And I'm going to appeal to you here, and I'm going to appeal to your better nature, because I know you get media flung at you and flung at you all the time, which is why we all go on to social media, because we're sick and fed up with jukebox radio. We're sick and fed up with canned laughter on the telly. We're sick and fed up with television announcers interrupting our movies and saying, don't forget that in 10 minutes time, all that stuff. And we're like, oh, you've just ruined the ambiance of this wonderful movie. So there we are. Right, so uh, now, uh, who have we got here? Oh, lots and lots of shout outs. Here's somebody Skyping in. So we'll see if we can get him on this actually, but I'm not sure if we can. And if I do that, hello, George. Hi. Are you all right, George? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Are you dinky do? Oh, dinky do. Lovely to hear you, and thank you for skyping in. No problem. No problem, dinky do. 
<laughs> right, that's George. He's escaped in. And that is marvellous, actually, folks. I do like that. So there you are. So if you're wanting to Skype in, do feel free to do so. I have Skype in front of me. I'll just see that everything's online. Everybody knows we're online. Yes, there we go. And uh, online status. Yes. Right, we're online. Everybody knows. Good. Right. Give us a Skype in as soon as you possibly can, and I can talk to you on that. Excellent. There we go. Good. Right. Get Skyping, folks, and I will talk to you. Here's George Collin. Just bear with me, everybody. Lovely. Hello. Is that George? Hello, George. Can you hear me? Hello? No, it's, it's panicked. Panicked and run away. Scotty, are you taking Skype calls? Yes, we are. Elliot says, when's the Scotty McClue merchandise hitting the stores for Christmas? Oh, you'd love that. Remember we brought out a video and I outsold uh, Billy Connolly. 35,000 sales. Fantastic stuff. Right, there we are. Sorry about that, folks. I know you keep jiggling about, but what I'm trying to do here is deal with the Skypers as well. So we've got that for you as well. Right, let's see how we go. Hello? Is that George? Hello, George? Can you hear me? Oh, I think we should have actually jailed them. I think that would be the best thing to, con to control the drinking in Britain. So there we are. So we're quite strong on that one. And also, have you noticed when you're driving in the motor, you see what I a wee blow of the nose there. Thank you for that, George. There we are. Excellent. A bit of Scotty McClue that George has got. A wee blow of the nose um, on here. Well, we have to do these natural things. It annoys me when you get that very, very clinical sort of television. You know, as if uh, nobody breaks wind or anything like that, you know. And you think to yourself, let's have a more natural form of television. Let's just have people talking to people. So there we are. The Scots have never really been big on the old class system. And I'll tell you all about that in a minute. There's Gregor calling. Let's see what Gregor's saying. Right, that's better. Hello, Gregor. Hello, Gregor. Dinky do. How are you? I am good. How are you? Excellent. Good to hear you. Do you want to turn down the sound in the background a wee bit, Gregor, or would that? Just doing that now, I'm getting sick of your voice. I'm getting sick of your voice, absolutely. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick and fed up of you calling me. This is the second time in ten years. <laughs> <laughs> now listen. Yes, how I'm, are you? I'm, I'm all right. I'm calling you from America just now. You're kidding me. No, because that's where I live now. Are you in America full time, Gregor? I'm in America full time. Whereabouts yeah. are you in America? Uh, I'm in Hollywood just now, but I'm actually moving to uh, Vegas in the new year. Fantastic. So. Well, before you move away from Hollywood, you make sure that Scotty McClure's got a big part in a massive movie. Uh, I'll try my best. You get a hold of them. I, as you know, Scotty, you and I are the world's only true superstars. We are superstars, Gregor, yes. And you are a top agent. <laughs> so there you, you listen. go. Yes. I just wanted to get your opinion. Um, obviously, I'm over here with uh, the whole election process going on. Over here. What What over is the vibe here. like in Scotland about the, the Donald Trump well, situation? Well, obviously, Donald Trump doesn't go down too well with the Scots, as you know, because of um, all the business dealings and what have you. But I think the problem is we might have ended up with Hillary as the alternative, and obviously the American people didn't want that. And I think also the media, um, they need their bottoms smacked uh, as well, Gregor, to be quite honest with you, because they were pushing Hillary to such an extent that I think the American people have said, no, 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 you're not fooling us, so we're voting for Mr. Trump. Ah. You see what so I'm saying to you? You're not a fan then, Scotty? A fan of Donald Trump's. Am I a fan of Donald Trump? Yeah. I absolutely admire so much of what Donald Trump has done. I'm not sure about some of his rhetoric during the electioneering and during <laughs> the campaigns. But I mean, as a business person and as a television star and what have you, and 
Ronald Reagan was an actor and a showbiz personality, as you well know. And Ronald yeah. Reagan was actually a superb president. And yeah. he was funny. I remember when his uh, wife, Nancy, poor Nancy, a very nice lady, and the back leg of her chair touched the edge of a platform and she fell over backwards. And of course, they rushed round and picked her up, saw she was all right, and she was okay. And once Ronald had established that she was okay, he turned around and went, Honey, I told you only to do it if I didn't get a laugh. Yeah. You know? So that's no, what was going on there. But um, no, I, I think right. we're going to have the to let... Had... Go on, go on, Gregor. The media has had a big part to play with it, but uh, what's really amazed me over here, you know, it's all fair and well people that live in a different country and they're, they're listening to the news and... You know, the news has been very biased on both sides. Yes, yes. Um, but, you know, when you live here, I mean, I think the problem with Donald Trump is when he comes out with these statements, I get what he's saying because I live here. Yeah. But I yep. just don't think he says it the right way. Um, and that's where all the upset starts. But I'm like, you. I, I think he'll be a fantastic president. I really do because... You know, all my friends out here, I mean, California as a state is not for Trump. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very much a Hillary state. But, you know, all my friends out here have said that for a long time, even before this election, that America needs a businessman. And, and yes. really, I don't think there's a, a better person than him to, you know, get America out of the debt. And well, yes, I, I mean, think I mean, he's so going to... So, sorry to interrupt, Gregor, but so much of America is lying fallow at the moment and has been for many, many years. And I don't think that at presidential level they're actually acknowledging that, that Henry yeah. Ford's old office uh, in Detroit is open to the voles and the bats and things yeah. like that. You know, the center of the, of the motor industry, the world center of the motor industry. And Detroit looks like a beautiful place, but obviously it's very run down and very challenged. It's like so much of Scotland. You can't take away people's jobs and expect them to be happy. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's as simple as that. And I think that, um, you know, Hillary, Yep, great stuff, has been around a long time, knows the stuff, but she's a politician. Donald Trump's more than that. Yeah. And America's yeah. looking for something that's more than that. They're not wanting platitudes when the place floods or when everybody starves or when nobody yeah. can pay their mortgage. They're not wanting platitudes. They're wanting action. Yeah. And America, you know... The way I look at it is, you know, America is essentially a large corporation, you yes. know. America and, PLC. And that's <laughs> and that that's essentially what Donald Trump is used to doing is running big organizations. So um and I think really where he gained a lot of momentum over here was that Hillary simply cannot be trusted. And I mean I, I know Trump is, you know, equally as bad and certain aspects of his uh, character, but he, uh, I think, you know, I mean, people don't distrust him. He's got a lot of baggage to his name, especially over the last couple of months with the the accusations and so on. Yeah, but we, we, we need to find out uh, at some point how much of that's true and how much was yeah, just well, very, very low, it. very, very low electioneering by the opposition. Yeah, and I mean, I'm one of these people... Um, until he's actually found guilty of a, 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 a you know a charge a crime, um, to me it's an accusation. You know, so I when that came out in the last couple of weeks, I was listening to it, but I, I you know I just didn't believe it. Yeah, well, these are allegations, and I mean, I think when you've got two people standing in a presidential campaign, I was a little bit shocked at how low that campaign actually went between these two. But it's over yeah. now. And I think everybody's breathing a sigh of relief that it's over on both sides of the Atlantic. And I mean, yeah. an alternative might be to say to America, do you want to come home to Mama? Do you want to come back <laughs> under under the British Oxter? Or under the Scottish Oxter? Scotty, you should have uh, you should have ran for president. I no, listen, the only reason I didn't run for president is because I'm not a US citizen. 
and that was the problem. I did a, a, a poll over here, and it was Clinton, Trump, and McClue, and McClue polled 74%. So there you go. That's not too bad, is it? Now, listen, tell me, I've not been... Uh... I've not been in Britain since Theresa May's taken over. What sh how's she doing as a, a Prime Minister? Well, like Gordon Brown, the Labour Prime Minister, Theresa May has not been elected by the people. So that's always going to put her on the back foot. Also, we were uh, fooled into taking this Brexit thing, and there's talk of saying, look, we were uh, told a pack of nonsense here, you know, a complete load of nonsense here, a pack of lies, actually, or people misconstrued the truth might be a better way to put that. And therefore, can we go back and have another look at Brexit? Can we be all informed as to what we're actually giving up if we come out of Europe and as to what we're gaining if we stay in Europe? Yeah, yeah. Now, Nigel Farage was um, a great one for coming out of Europe. And, of course, he's gone and met Donald Trump way ahead of Theresa May. <laughs> yeah, he actually spoke over here. Yes, yes. So there you are. Um, there's Jim saying, I've updated my website, Scotty. It looks great. How fantastic. So everybody has to get onto the website, Gregor. Now, listen. <laughs> Um, yes. What I need to do is get over to America and do some serious talking on the on the radio stations there. I think you might be right. Yes, they need Scotty think... McClure over there. America needs a bit of dinky do, especially in these violent times. America needs a massive bit of dinky do, and the people need top to good and proper. But the only problem is, Scotty, I don't know if they'll they'll know what dinky do means over here. Well, we'll inform them when we get there. <laughs> They'll know what Dinky Doo means within an evening or two. <laughs> we'll get them to ten. Tell, tell ten to tell ten to tell ten in America, and it would spread like wildfire. You ain't joking. We would have billions listening. Remember I how quickly? Remember how quickly it spread over here? I remember, and I remember when you outsold Billy Cordelly. I remember Billy Do you remember paper. when we shorted out the network for Central Scotland? I do, Scott FM. <laughs> Fantastic. I, now, I listen, remember those days. Gregor, it's been an absolute privilege talking to you. It's lovely to hear you. Are you, moving, are you doing a lot of agency work? Yeah, I'm doing quite a lot at the minute. I'm actually um, I'm opening a art gallery in Vegas, so Wonderful. I'm just I'm just preparing for that just now. So, so you're you're, you're heading you're heading over there. Tremendous. Oh well, yes. absolutely. Well, keep old McClure up your sleeve because that's your secret weapon. Listen, when I open this art gallery, there's going to be an eight by ten of you on the wall. How's that? <laughs> Fantastic. Listen, love you lots. Take great care of yourself, and I hope everything goes well. Thank you, do, Scotty. Same to you. Thank you, do, Gregor. All the best, La. Bye bye. Bye bye now. There we are. Right, that's uh, Gregor Gillespie, who is a, a big agent over in Hollywood, and he is ringing from America, setting up an art gallery. Big shout out for all my friends of the People's Republic of Dundee. Uh, ah ha ha ha. James should be ashamed, says Jamie. Absolutely. So there we are. Remember, if there's anything silly, folks, I'll just block you. I'll just block you. Uh, right, here's George calling. Hello, George. You're live on Scotty's phone in. No, you don't. No, George. George, we need to explain to you, you can't phone and play music. That's unacceptable. So that wouldn't be, uh, that wouldn't be done on here. That's just silly. Hello, here's Ross. Hello, Ross. Fantastic stuff. Right, there we are. Remember, if you're Skyping in, proper calls. Hi, Scotty. From the Scottish border, says Yvonne Boyd McLennan. How marvellous is that? Ross, go on, son, says Elliot. Excuse me a second. Ah, yes. That's better. Quick wipe down, of course, because this little studio is absolutely roasting. Now, 
Um, I did promise you a tune. What are we? We're uh, about 20 uh, to um, 20 to 11. We have to finish at 11 o'clock sharp. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to play your tune. George, I'm not going to take your calls if you're going to play music. So there we are. So this better be good. Hello, George. No, I told you. No music, George. So there you are. Are you so stupid and so daft that you don't realise when I say no music, it's no music. Okay, George? So don't be silly. Now, having said no music, here I have the organ for you. Now, shall I play you a tune on the pipe organ? Okay. Right, here we go. I'm going to turn around for this. So it might take a bit of work, this, actually. You ready? Can you all see? I'll move you over to there. There we are. That's better, isn't it? Yes. music for you how marvelous is that you don't get that on your television programs do you right if anybody wants to skype in they can of course scotty dot mcclue now a one or two folks if you're feeling generous and you'd like to make a little donation we'll try to build up a new media landscape here and if this is this george idiot i'll take one more call and then i will ban him completely if he's playing music george Hello, George. Hey, little bastards. No, there we are. Right. Off you go, George. Uh, okay. That's it. George, I think what we'll do is just block you, to be quite honest. So there we are. I do apologise, folk, for that half-witted idiot phoning the programme and coming out with that. Scotty for president. And um, you talk so much good stuff, says Callum. Absolutely. And uh, you're talking like an American. So there we go. Wonderful. You can't beat it, can you? Um, and oh, there's another Scotty for president. How marvellous is that? Keep your messages coming. Now, let's have a massive share. It's um, 20, 19 minutes, 19 minutes to 11 o'clock. We have to finish at 11. So let's have a massive, massive share. And if you can do that, just share the whole video. Share, 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 share. Uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, this sounds like the guy from Real Radio. Who have we got here? Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Huh? Hello, is that Sean? There we are. There we are. Try again, Sean. We'll get you on there. No problem at all. And um, all you need to do is get this idiot off the phone, says Jamie Gowan. I know, Jamie. It's such a shame because this is a wonderful resource. And as time goes on, this is this George. No, I'm not taking your call, George. Forget it. So there you are. You're a half-witted idiot. And you may as well go. Now, there we are. No, not taking your call, George. Okay, that's you. That's him gone. There we go. And uh, Theresa May is more right-wing than Farage. We'll see who we've got here. Hello? Hello? Hi, Charlotte. All right. Hello, how are you getting on? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Dinky do. Good to hear from you. <laughs> I just have one thing to say to you. Are you enjoying the show? Excellent. Uh, yes, brilliant. Excellent. Marvellous stuff. Thank you for that. So, there we go. Now then, um, who else have we got here? Oh, yes. Will he ever shut up, says George. No, I don't think he will, George. So what we'll do is we'll just put him off. There you go. That's it. He's gone. We shan't hear any more of him. If you're Skyping in, make it a proper call so that we can get some decent chat going. That's what I would say. Uh, Scotty, I hate women drivers. Get them a bus pass. Dinky do, Scotty, says Robert Kincaid. I don't, well, I think there's something different in 
the female psyche about driving. I was watching a lady parking last week, and it was better than a Christmas pantomime. She was making an absolute pig's ear of it. So there we go. Right, Roth's call now, says Christopher. No, don't bother, Roth. Uh, there's no problem at all. I'm not taking silly calls. Um, Mon Roth says, Glenn, no, he's not calling because we're not taking these calls. Elliot, we're not taking the call. Try and get that into your head. Hi, Scotty from Dundee, says Gary. Tremendous. Now, uh, folks, a word or two, as I say, if you're feeling generous and you'd like to drop us a fiver for the program because we're building up a media landscape here, get on to www.scotty-mcclue.com. Over 10 million people have visited the Scotty McClue website. So there we are, over 10 million. We'll see what this chap's calling. Who's this? Sean. Right. Hello, Sean. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Hello, Sean. <laughs> Hello, Sean. How are you? No, he's gone. So there we are. Right. I don't think we'll bother taking these calls. It sounds like silly schoolboys that we've got here. Here we go. Let's see what this chap say. Hello. Hello, Andrew. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Hey, right, how's it going? How are you doing, buddy? Are you dinky doo? Oh, I'm dinky do. Yes. Andrew, I'm, 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 I don't mind talking to you, but I'm after proper calls, if you know what I mean. Oh, yes. Yes. Qu quality calls. Oh, yeah. And you can do a quality call. Of course I can. Of course you can. Dinky-doo, I say. Dinky-doo. Dinky-doo to you. What happened to the old Scotty McClue? The old Scotty McClue is here. The old one. The one on the talk shows on Scott FM. What happened to him? Yes, that's him. This is me. But whatever happened to the cheeky callers that you used to roast? That's right. Well, we're just going to get them on when we get some proper callers. Get them on. We might, we might well roast them. Yeah. Oh, we can. Yes, you can. You can, keep, you can get that as one of yours. Very popular. Even though it's very popular. Listen, good to hear from you. Hello? Hello, dinky do. So, there we go. Excellent stuff. Give us a poppy day tune. Play a tune, says Julianne. Well, we might, Julianne. Hold on a second. Oh. Roasting in here, absolutely roasting in here. So there we go. Now, somebody was talking about the little box, and what have we got tonight? But I did find, yes, the little box. What about that? There you are. You see, there it is there, and uh, we may actually get uh, a tune out of this. James, did you do Scotty? I could watch you live, but the app store's not available. A bummer, so I want to join in next time on my computer. Excellent, no problem with that at all. Yes. So there you go, little tune, guys. Uh. letting you know it's a, a button key button key honor uh, marvelous stuff so there we are x was number one there top quality mate says mac and uh, so puts are uh, something on i don't know uh, right ross says this live feed is brill it's so entertaining well of course it is that's what it's all about it's only for an hour a week of course but people are wanting to advertise on it already so we will look at that so there you go i don't have a radio station i just have scotty mcclue um a shout out to hal and lewis says fletcher dinky do fletcher of course a shout out to you let's just see who we've got here hello you're live on scotty's phone in matthew oh, People are wanting to... Yep. Hello, Matthew. Already, so we will... are, you, are you doing, Scotty? Sorry, I'll just turn that down. No, not at all. How are you doing? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm really good, thank you. Really enjoying the show. It's good to see you. Where are you Again, calling I... from, Matthew? 
Are you still there? Yes, where are you calling from? Uh, Manchester, but I used to listen to you when I used to live in Preston. Ah, yes, absolutely. On Red Rose or on Century? I think it was on both. I first... I was a wee lad when I first listened to you uh, on Red Rose, and then I think you went over to Century when I was a bit older. How fantastic, Matthew. Great to hear from you. I was talking to somebody the other day who's in their 20s now, and they said it was all my generation. Um, always uh, thought Scotty McClure would have done really well on Radio 1 at the time. No, we used to, we used to love it. Um, my friend upstairs remembers you. We're all talking about you. And we are just <laughs> thinking about you a few weeks ago, and we've been watching... All your videos on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> wonderful stuff. There's lots lots going on there. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. We've really missed you, but now we've got you back on Facebook. It's amazing. It's fantastic. Oh. And we'll uh, we'll hook up every week just for a good old chat and see how everybody's doing. Say again, sorry. Yeah, it broke I, up a bit. I, I'm saying, sorry about that. I'm saying we'll hook up every week and see how everybody's getting on. How everyone's getting on, sorry. Yeah, we'll hook up every week. Yeah, definitely, and I'll let everyone know you're back on. Yeah, it's, tell ten, it's tell even ten. better now, thanks to technology, but... <laughs> and the technology is brilliant. Yeah, I love it. I was talking to we somebody... We spread the word, get everyone to Spread the word, yeah, well. spread the word. I was talking to somebody much. recently, and they said, listen, there's no need to be going back to television and radio, Scotty. Get yourself on Facebook Live. Absolutely. You know, and hook up with the nation, and we can chit-chat. Yeah, definitely. Ah, it's lovely to hear you. And listen, love to Lancashire. No, thank you. That's where it all started for That's me. That's where it all started. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 25 years ago. Yes. <laughs> and we're still going. <laughs> yeah, better than ever. <laughs> and in fact, we've only even started. It's interesting talking to Gregor, who's a, a big agent in Hollywood. And I'll say to him tonight, get us a part in a big movie over there. Well, you never know. That would, that would shove up the takings at the box office. Oh, yeah, because there's nobody else like you on you know, radio TV because they're all too could, PC, but you just say it as it is. Well, we have to, yes. I think it's important, and I think PC is dying out now. It is. It was a political thing, and it's dying out now. You know what I mean? I know. And I think, uh, I think under Donald Trump, you know, I think Scotty McLean would get a job in American radio. Absolutely. I think he's a great choice of president as well. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Lovely talking to you. You've just put the cat amongst the pigeons here. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'll let you get on with hey, the show. Hey, dinky-doo, la. I'll speak to you soon. Dinky-doo. <laughs> Love to Lancashire. Ta-ra, la. Bye-bye. <laughs> What a talk, man. So there we are, calling from Lancashire there. Now, that's what I call a proper call. And um, that's with the cat amongst the pigeons. Are you for Donald Trump? We've heard so many people who are anti-Donald Trump. Are you actually for Donald Trump? So there we go. Who have we got calling? It's Tommy. Let's see if we get Tommy here. Hello, Tommy. Dinky do, you're live on Scotty's Dinky phone. Dinky do, Scotty. How are you doing, my friend? Oh, great to hear from you. I, I was yourself. I was I'm getting annoyed at these. Uh, your, your, your show is absolutely phenomenal. Are you enjoying it, Tommy? Oh, it's brilliant. It's no, brilliant. I, I was getting a wee bit fed up with these silly wee boys there ringing in and playing music. Oh, you can't get it into their heads that that's not what it's about. Oh, and unfortunately, you just need a new livable lassie to sort them out before they get through. That's the Ab problem. Absolutely. <laughs> Although, to be honest with you, Tommy, we took a lot of stuff direct to air in the old days. Aye. You know? Aye. And we, we, we certainly we had, the, we had the reception down in the, in the air for the Scotty FM. I had a great big area outside the house just to, to pick up on so I could listen to yourself and Bob and the, and the, the nighttime programmes, then yourself in the morning, literally. So, aye, it was, that it was morning programme, you know, when they first said, we're putting you on in the mornings. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, are you sure about this? Because, you know, and then we found out we doubled the audience from the night time. Aye, and well, you still you get people walking about and they're saying, uh, you know, they're saying things like, okay, is, is that not more of a night time thing? You think, no, well, it went very well during the day. <laughs> and we were on from, uh, do you remember we did 9 till 12 on Scott FM? No, I'm sorry, your, your signal's broken a wee bit there. Do you remember we did 9 till 12 on Scott FM? Can you hear me? No, you're, you're no. breaking up a wee Break, bit. Breaking up a wee bit. Not to worry. Hold on a second. Okay. Can you hear me better now if I do that? Is that any better? 
No, it's, no. it's still, still pretty still, broken. It's still bro breaking up. Not to worry. We will sort this out, Tommy. Oh, no, we're, we're back on track now. You're back on track. You can hear me now. I can hear you now. I can hear you. <laughs> You're too popular. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. We're, all, we're too much buffering. Oh, uh, okay, I know. I know. It's fantastic. Well, certainly, I used to. I used to be an avid listener in the morning and at night. And uh, I remember my grand phoned in uh, one of the, the mornings. You were on about the pensioners get them back to work. Get the pensioners and, uh, that was, that was the highlight of her day. She had phoned in the radio to, to have a go at the man uh, that was telling the pensions to get back into jobs. She came and had a go. Absolutely, everybody <laughs> could have a go, and that's what I loved about it. Okay, it was a good laugh. You know, it was it was, it was a good laugh and it was a bit of fun. And the it's radio fun. now is too bland for me. It's just jukebox. Aye, well, very much so. You know, you're getting somebody that's uh, that's no local DJ, that doesn't know the local area. I don't know the uh, area. There's no nonsense. Because, do you not remember you could banter with the DJs? You could phone them up during their, their songs when they had a record on and chat Aye. to them and then they go, anyway, I must go, my record's finishing. Aye, and I thought, who are you talking to? This is the DJ. Ach, away you no. go. You know. I don't know. No, so good. No, so good. But that's a sign of the times, unfortunately. I think every sort of industry is going the same way. Yes. But, uh, yes. What can you do? What can you do? What can you uh, do about it? And, and uh, you know, I think also, um, here's what you can do about it. Technology as, yeah. is now looking for content. And that's mm -hmm. why this yeah. show has just taken off. Aye, no, I think it's going to be very popular. It's just a case of getting everybody to know that you're on. And it's, it's and it's for most folks a good night because the majority of folk are thinking about the week ahead. There's, there's obviously plenty happened over the last week in the news, etc. Oh, so there's always something for goodness. folks to talk about. But uh, I think starting the show with, with a couple of topics might be a good idea as well because yes. it, keeps, uh, yes. you know, it keeps folk interested. It keeps the continuity going. No, so definitely. We, definitely might, we might just do uh, that. Hold on, I'm just going to have a quick walk down. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you very much. Thank you for that. No, uh, this this place is roasting this wee studio. You know, it's absolutely uh, roasting with the lights on and everything. Because of course, this is what you have. When I used to work on television, you were fighting the lights a lot of the time. You know, you were sitting looking at the camera, but you were fighting the lights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> open the window, <laughs> says Denise. She's open uh, the window. You know, what I mean, that'd be great. Let the traffic noise in. <laughs> uh, there's okay. somebody wanting the soldier song. There's always somebody, isn't there? Aye. <laughs> okay. A man of many talents. That's the thing. Absolutely. Listen, <laughs> that's what it's all about. But an absolute privilege to talk to you, Tommy. And keep in touch. Be, 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 thank you very be, much for taking the time to receive my call. And I'll, I'll let somebody else get a wee No, but Tommy, be later. one of our callers because it's great stuff. And we'll get going on the topics. Have you checked out all the YouTube stuff? Yes, I have. Huh? You know, there's Could plenty I'm... on there. Aye. Rumble video as well. Um, it's it's a good laugh. That's always good, good for a smile, isn't it? I, I mean, I know the problem. Uh, I know why um, I didn't get to continue on Scott FM because it was just too massive, and the other stations were complaining that it was upsetting the market. And there was right. the saying at the time, which is still the saying in the advertising world: "Whoever has my clue has the market." Mm. Yep. You know, and it's true. Aye, oh, it was it was, it was certainly worthwhile, and uh, you're you're obviously you were replaced by other folk, and some were okay, some were not so so <laughs> much. But um, it, it all fell apart after that. It did. Well, I was quite chuffed though because it was Jeremy Kyle that took over from me in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> Says it all. <laughs> so lovely to hear from you. And you can I get a wee shout out to Jim McIntyre just before I go? Of course you can. You have, a, you have a fantastic week, and I'll I, speak to you again. And dinky do to you, sir. Thank you, do, Scotty. Take care, my man. <laughs> Fantastic. So there we are. That's how it works, folks. Andy McCrory is watching. Scotty, the patter's great. Um, what have we got here? The guy from the USA uh, was on too long. So here's Lewis Connie. Hello, Lewis. You're live on Scotty McClure. Dinky do. Hello, Lewis. Dinky do. Dinky do. Okay. Good to hear from you. Uh -uh. Right, I'm just looking for your opinion on something. Yes. Right, my dad just got a little help for his job, right, so he's just started selling Avon, mm -hmm. right? Excellent. And yes. uh, I'm just wondering, what? how do you think, do you think it's all right for my dad to sell it? Yes, yes, I do. I do, Lewis. I think that's excellent and good for him. Now then, um, now, who have we got here? Scotty McClure, Lewis. More jokes, more jokes, more jokes. <laughs> more jokes, Scotty, says Christopher. I don't know any jokes, Christopher. There were two snowmen in the garden, and one turns to the other and he says, 
Can you smell carrots? <laughs> So there you are. I was at Glasgow Central Station one day and I just burst into floods of tears and a policeman came up and said, I can arrest you. I said, what for, for crying out loud? Uh, McClure, Jimmy Shan will be burling in his grave after that performance, says Gordon. No, Gordon, that's absolutely fine. I was just showing you the instrument. I wasn't actually sitting down and playing it because um, it's not easy to get into the right position for playing it. So... Don't start cheeking up to me, you know, Jimmy Shan this and Jimmy Shan that. I mean, Jimmy Shan, as you know, was my great hero. Uh, and he used to play Oginai with a Baron's ear. Jimmy Shand would approve of that. So there you are. Okay, Gordon, so we'll have less of your lip chummy. Right, who have we got here? Arosto says James Graham, fantastic. These pesky school kids says Adam. And uh, there we are. Get him off, says Ross. Absolutely. Uh, you suit the rights better, says James. I'm not sure about that, James, to be quite honest, you know. It's an interesting one. And uh, who have we got here? You must be very busy with the call, says Wadge. We are Wadge. They're all coming in. There's one or two I'm not having. So there we are. Now, guys, if you're going to swear, I'm just deleting somebody here, folks, okay? Because I am not having this behavior on my program. So I'm just going to delete a guy, if that's okay with you. There we are. Right, he's gone. And uh, what we'll do is we will just get shot of these people. It's as simple as that. So behave yourselves, proper uh, behavior, any language problems or anything like that, and you will be off. Far too many people agreeing with you, Scotty Elliot. Get a debate going in your Skype. You really put a smile on our faces. Thanks for doing this podcast, says Cody Richardson. And guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of you who has donated at wwwscotty mcclue.com Scotty McClue website. There's a PayPal facility there. And many, many, many of you have been availing yourselves of it. And for that, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. We're looking for a fiver, but if it's less, so what? If it's more, thank you, thank you, thank you as well. Many of you, I don't like to actually tell you, have been very, very, very generous indeed. So for that, I give thanks. Fantastic. Debate time, says Jamie. And uh, yes, so there we go. Make a comment then, says George. Um, ah, I'm listening to what you should say to callers. So there you are. Get Tommy off of the suicide rates. Will rocket, says Gordon. Right, Gordon? What a cheeky, cheeky man. He really is. It was very nice to talk to Tommy. Uh, that's you, uh, Scotty. Excellent. What's with the softy mitts? What's that all about? So there you are. Very good. The mitts. Can we see the Scotty McClure mitts? Uh, no publicity here, please. Excellent stuff. And um, yes, there somebody should bar themselves. Absolutely. Um, he has to go at 11. It's a curfew, says James. <laughs> very, very good, James. Can you play uh, the Nicky Campbell video? It's been a while, says Gordon. I know you absolutely adore that video, Gordon, and I shall play that for you. Um, whoever has the market has McClue. No, it's whoever has McClue has the market, James. That's what it's about. Whoever has McClue has the market. So there we are, 460,000 calls to a radio station at one go. Fantastic. And they had to eventually take the program off because the other radio stations were getting swamped. They were complaining because they didn't have Scotty McClue. They didn't have Scotty McClue. 
Um, there's gold in them there hills and sandy hills, says George. Sandy hills, now is that down in um, Kirkubri Way, sandy hills? Is it that sandy hills or is it sandy hills Dumfries? Um, so there we go. Sandy Hills, says Jock Gibson. I remember the 9 to 12 show, says Morris on Scott FM. Dinky do, Scotty. I listen to you faithfully. You always put a smile on my face. Cheers. Fantastic. A shout out to Ben Cuthbertson, and Scotty. No problem at all. So uh, excellent stuff. Really enjoyed the show, says Brian Hutton. Absolutely, Brian. I have thoroughly enjoyed the show as well. Um, I was talking to somebody about it and they said it's fantastic that you're doing it, Scotty. Um, you know, it's caused quite a stushy in the media, I can tell you that. People are wondering seriously if it's the end of radio and television, if we can do this on Facebook. Facebook Live, fantastic. And um, who else have we got? Uh, LM, ha, ha, says Adam. Fantastic stuff, Adam, no problem at all. Now, folks, thank you. I'm getting a bit jumpy um, on here. Nothing to do with me, but I see that the uh, picture's jumping about a bit just because obviously there's so many people tuning in. It's slowing things down a little bit, but we'll get things up to speed. Um, doing paperwork, Scotty, but loving the show. Wish you were back on the radio. Well, we might not need the radio. Uh, it's too hot inside. Get out the house, says Dr. Philip. <laughs> How marvellous. You're quite right. Uh, James says his dad was selling Avon. Is that okay? Absolutely fantastic. Anything I say to you. Right. You've all been very, very generous. But if you want to drop us a few bob, as I say, wwwscotty mcclue.com it will go to a very good cause and it will help to build a new media landscape, which I think is very, very important. So they are. Ha ha! A classic, my man, says Christopher. Tommy, did you use to go on? I don't know what Denise is saying. I can't actually see that there. Uh, Hillary was live last week at this time, Scotty. Of course she was, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Scotty McClue figures were probably larger than Hillary's figures. There you are. Although I'm quite happy to go to America and give a talk show a try. It was good to have the big Hollywood agent on there. I've asked them to get me a part in a film because I'm interested in what the next step would be. Also, guys, remember that you can um, hire Scotty McClue for voiceovers and for after-dinner speaking, anything at all that's of interest. Um, we're doing it. You're so funny, Scotty, says Wadge. Thank you, Wadge. Think you do. I don't set out to be funny. A shout-out to Ben, says Fletcher. So there we are. Uh, Jimmy says... Laughing, that's poor. Ross says, that's class. And Angie Thompson says, jings. How amazing is that? Who's the young strapping lad behind you? Aha, uh -huh. I think that might be me. Is that that chap there you're looking at? Yes, that's me. That's Scotty McClue. And um, there's another chap here. Yes, hold on. Yes. Hey. There we are. Right, these are all the Scotty McClues for you, live on the studio, hanging up in the wall. Uh, a shout out to Ben, yes, no problem at all. Should uh, Strachan stay as the Scotland boss, Scotty, says David Steele. Well, he's doing very, very well, so there you are, so I think that's excellent. And uh, there's Lewis fessing up about his call. Yes, I think you should fess up about that call so you tell me what kind of program you're wanting i think we should have a lot more subject discussion because there's so much needs discussed and hasn't been discussed because radio stations don't have a scotty mcclue phone in that i think is a very very big error of judgment but there we are um if that's uh, if that's what they want to do if they want to become a jukebox no problem with me um it's not easy to get into the right position, says James. No, I understand what you mean, James. So there we are. It's quite difficult. If you're talking about playing the accordion, then yes, you have to get into the right position. And of course, the pipe organ's here. Not bad, one-handed without looking. 
Are you on Periscope, Scotty, says Cody? No, I'm not actually at the moment, Cody, but if any of you can suggest any more social media, what you'll find, there's a big, big Scotty McClue following on YouTube, so get on to the Scotty McClue channel. And if you can keep sharing all the stuff I'm posting, it's lovely of you to like it, but if you can actually share it, that is really, really, really appreciated because it just brings the audience to the show. And it's in all our interest to have as big a show as possible. Because if we get into the thousands and the hundreds of thousands, then you're talking, I mean, already 50,000 people have come to the show here. So that's pretty good. Jimmy Shan's on the wireless. My mum loved that. Jimmy Shan's on the wireless. Fantastic stuff. Geez, that'll do me, says Ronnie Phillips. No problem at all. Uh, Scotty, join Ronnie Brown and restart the Corries. You know, the Corries. The Corries were absolutely massive. And I um, have a lot of Corrie uh, music, and I, I put it on the other day. Just the same. It's tremendous. Loved it. Roy Williamson, Ronnie Brown, the late Roy Williamson. And, uh, of course, Flower of Scotland, uh, written by Roy Williamson. And OG... An old Gordonston boy, a Gordonstonian, and um, a great, great guy as well. Died far, far too young. Uh, fantastic. I used to love, I went to Corrie's concerts in the 60s, and you would come out and there'd be one or two, um, you know, sort of cut glass accented people going, yes, it was a wee bit, now in danger, in danger of being a wee bit nationalistic. It was a danger of it being a wee bit nationalistic. Oh, that would be terrible, wouldn't it, if Scottish people sang Scottish songs? Oh, nationalistic. Uh, Scotty, when are you wrapping up? Oh, my goodness, I should have wrapped up right now. That's it, folks. Lovely to talk to you. I hope you have a fabulous week. Join me next week at the same time, 2200 hours sharp, here on Facebook Live. This is Scotty McClure saying to you, dinky-doo, have a great week and take care of yourselves. Ta-da, love!